<laughs> What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk In Your Pocket. And uh, today, if you look over here, uh, you may recognize this mural. We are in Vzhesht, which is just a little bit north of the uh, center of Gdansk. Um, once the home of the famous German writer Gunter Grass. He grew up in this area. Most people who come here for food usually head down that street right there, which is Weidelotte, and has a lot of great options. But today, actually, we're going to go in a different direction. We're going to go that way, past Galeria Baltitska, and we're going to go to Swovatskiego Street. Today's Foodie Friday is a recommendation from one Mark Cameron, who is a videographer blogger who lives in the Tri-City and his content is great. I have the link here and also check the description, copy paste it and check it out. Mark has recommended Jaffa Eat and Drink, which is an Israeli restaurant. And if I'm not mistaken, that means there's gonna be a lot of Middle Eastern influences there. I'm in the mood for something with a falafel. So hopefully I can get a kebab and do a nice simple review while I'm out here in the snow. So let's see what happens. You will not believe it, the sun came out. That's a nice little turn of events. Now I've got to find a place to actually sit and give it a go for you guys. So let's see what happens. First things first, guys, kombucha. Kombucha yabuko i truskovka, truskavka. That's uh, apple and uh, strawberry kombucha. So, and as you can see, it started snowing again. Things changed so quickly. Oh, it's fermented, this one. Oh my God. So, what did I order? I ordered a talej falafel type thing. Paper bag, big tick. Paper box with a plastic lining, pretty good. You've done well for your packaging. This had to sit in my bag for just a, a short moment. So unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit of a landslide, just a touch, but as you can see, it's still beautiful and colorful. Open it up. Oh, how blissful, look at that. Hopefully the snow won't kill the, the DGI. Wooden spoon, just a wooden spoon. And we got some napkins, great. God, it's practically a blizzard. It's practically a blizzard. So this Fatouche salad um, falafel talej uh, comes with a lovely mango sauce with some charanushka, like black sesame seeds. We call these little black seeds charanushka. People think I'm crazy for doing this. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one of these falafels and I'm gonna dunk it in the mango sauce. Here we go. It's also got some hummus on there too. I can't complain. Beautiful. Smachnego. Mm. This is a really, really good falafel. It's nice and deep fried. Um, very crispy on the outside and very nice and soft on the inside. What I should be doing is sampling this with the pita bread that I've got. They toasted it a bit, it's still a bit warm, still warm. They come in doubles, but I'll just do a half. Okay. Little bit of hummus. Little bit of fatouche. And now for now for the falafel. Okay, there we are. Fatouche, falafel, and hummus. And you know what? Just for the final dip, sorry about the inelegance of the snow on my moustache and beard. I'm gonna get a little bit of the mango in as well, just for a laugh. Mm. Okay. Okay, smudge neck one. The ingredients of this fatou salad are very fresh. Full points for that. This Jedi is much nigger. Isn't this a beautiful family portrait? So guys, what did I think? Well, firstly, presentation. You saw it, it looked beautiful. Five for presentation. Next up, the build. I had to put it in my bag and quickly run around to find a place in the snow to eat. And even though it was on its side, it still retained its shape and it stuck together and it was all good. So 
Still also very good, I'm very impressed. Five. The packaging was very, very good. Mostly paper. The, uh, the spoon was wooden. Uh, the bag was paper. The lid and some of the lining were still plastic, but nevertheless, it's pretty good compared to most uh, packaging options for Navanos these days. Uh, I'm gonna give it four. Taste. Despite the fact I was caught in a blizzard, I just wanna say that I really enjoyed the food. I thought the taste was nice and I thought the option of the mango sauce, if you didn't feel like having it with hummus, was really good. I was very impressed with the taste and the texture and the fresh ingredients. Five for taste. And finally, the value. This uh, falafel uh, talez with uh, fatou salad and pita bread, plus the kombucha drink, was 38 zlotis. 38, 38 zlotis. So, regarding the value, with that beautiful looking and beautiful tasting meal, I'm gonna give it five for value. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today on Foodie Friday. Um, if you're interested in checking out more content from Gdansk in your pocket, head along to the Facebook page, it's just below. Also, we have an Instagram, obviously. The handle is at Gdansk in your pocket. And I wanna know your recommendations for your favorite restaurants around the Tri-City. So comment below. And until next time, I hope you have a good week. See ya.